Hello, good morning, and how are you? Checking in. How are you today? This will be a reading for December 25th. It's Saturday. This time of year is a grab bag. You know what I mean? Don't know what's, you know, I never know what's going to show up. We have a fortune underneath. Okay, okay. Right. Forgot about the moon deck. Here we go. We are, um, hmm. If it feels like you're in a cloud or in a tunnel, some or at some sort of threshold, you would be correct. There is certainly a whole lot of transformative energy available to us right now. Everybody might be experiencing this a little bit differently. You might be feeling the effects of the Venus retrograde. Um, you might be celebrating um, if, for example, you did a lot of work this year, a lot of spiritual work, and Saturn is leaving you a little gifty. Um, the culmination of many events is happening, and maybe you're feeling excited or refreshed for what's coming next. Uh, maybe you feel anxious. If you're wanting to jump into the new year and, and ready to get started, I will say, and, and this is not a prediction, this is just the energy, since Venus will be retrograde until the end of January, and also Mercury uh, goes retrograde mid-January through the end of January. Uh, the second half of January might, might feel a little uh, scattered. I don't know. If you're trying to close a bunch of cycles right now, do the work up front because I think that it'll, it may become more challenging towards the end of January or, you know, through the beginning of the year. This is not going to be true for everybody. I'm just saying that this is sort of how I'm preparing for the new year, making sure that, you know, my resolutions are clear what I want and what I envision for the future is um, that is that I'm seeing it clearly in my mind and holding that vision to to guide me forward. Here we go. Surrender to the divine. It's time to release negativity. Nothing will come of this situation. Yeah, so while traversing through this, this tunnel, this threshold, turbulence, and you know what's causing turbulence is, is when we're holding on to things that we shouldn't be holding on to anymore. You want to streamline your access, you want to streamline your growth, streamline... You know, travel greater distances by, by packing lightly. Surrender to the divine. There's guidance here. Um, a message that was coming out in other readers' readings was there are no wrong choices, no wrong decisions, because spirit will always guide you back to your path, your intended path. You might wander and you'll just get slightly nudged over. If that creates um, negative feelings, anxiety, resentment, confusion, all of this stuff, there's a lot of things under our microscope right now, primarily the things that we value most, the things that we're drawn to, how we show up, how are we showing up for ourselves and for others. 
So if challenges do come up right now, know that that is a sign. Difficult feelings are, are signs right now for what need to be addressed. This is about you. This isn't about other people right now. Although your situation might deal with other people. It's just, it's just meant to, it's meant to be an illuminating time. But it could also feel very tense. So I think the moon, Moonology cards are saying nothing will come of this situation lest you release the negativity that's been holding up the, that's been holding up, that's been, yeah, holding up whatever beliefs you've been carrying. It's time to find some positivity in this, in whatever situation you're dealing with. I don't know if, I mean, that's interesting. You know, I, I sat down to do the reading and I, I didn't really feel very talkative. I felt sort of... There's, there's resistance. Uh, four of Wands underneath. This is an 11-11 card. This could be about soulmates or soul contracts. This could be about um, the home. Something, something in which you feel stable. This is where we're going. So if, if this is about finding stability, know that there is, this is, we're in a transition phase right now. Yeah, here we go. The ghost came out. Although if you've noticed, the ghost has been sort of traveling in the spread. He started sort of like down here, then he was up here, and now he's coming out first, which means for sure that's validation for me that a lot of people might be feeling that they are up against their ghosts, their the stories that they tell themselves to keep them comfortably scared are at the surface. The hermit, yes, look within. It's release, surrender to the divine. Time to release negativity. And the hermit, this is Virgo energy. This is about process, processing our negativity. Um, grief, letting go. This is about shedding. This is so much about shedding things right now. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So there's there's optimism here. Yeah, negativity versus optimism. Here we go. Five of Swords. The Devil in the middle. Hello, it's Capricorn season. We got the Devil. Three of Swords. Eight of Wands. Five of Cups. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like so for some of you, if you are dealing with a situation that deals with um, so Venus retrograde is a time where a lot of things from our past come up. So this is why we might be, be, we might have reminders in the form of people or situations that remind us of our past and they're illuminating how we're showing up and dealing with, with those things, with those difficult emotions, with the negativity. It's about what are you going to do differently this time? Because what I see here is somebody um, sort of running toward the thing that feels good but isn't that but but but, but may not be um, actually good the, the comfort zone the devil is here and I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling it as like this liberating 
energy that the devil can represent about becoming free. I mean, that is the advice here. That is the caution of, are you, are you still committed to freeing yourself, freeing yourself from the negativity, from the histories, from, from all that. And what I see here, so like if, if in your situation, you do feel like that is where you're headed. You have the conviction and you have been doing the work. You know, if you're, if you're celebrating right now somehow, it's because you've been able to conquer these, the situation, the stories for yourself And, are, and have been able to transmute that somehow into this, this some, something more positive for yourself. But know that that's not, for, that's not necessarily the case for um, everybody. Primarily what I'm getting is that this is, this is maybe a, um, more of a time for hmm. This is very interesting. Because um, what I see here, there, I mean, in the, in the in this row here, there's there's the three of swords, which indicates you know um, some kind of pain. Three, five, and the knight of swords. So there's whatever your situation is you're dealing you're dealing with a potentially difficult situation or a painful situation from the past and it's come up it's resurfaced rather quickly i think that's why the energy is here of now i'm dealing with this all of a sudden and possibly that's why the 4 of wands is underneath because there's a need to sort of f ground yourself and find this 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 solid structure for yourself Carry it with you while on the surface there is, there, there's these things popping up for you. And five of, wa five of wands underneath conflict. Hmm. The devil is also about sort of like our, uh, I take it as sort of like our identity because when we're, you know, disillusioned by the devil and we're staying in this scared and comfortable spot, we do like it. Like, it's comfortable for us, even though it's painful or not necessarily good for us. And sometimes it's not an easy path because the things that we choose that are good for ourselves, um, other people will inevitably, and some people will take as um, you did me wrong or, you know, people may feel left behind, but that <laughs> it's like I was saying earlier, the Venus in retrograde, when people come up and, and, and people are showing up for you, um, or situations, it's not actually about that person or the situation itself. This is totally about you and your journey, and what are you going to do with this? How are you making a different decision? To address any potential disappointments. This is saying this is sort of giving me the vibe of like, in order to release negativity, you know, what's what's really helpful is um, practicing saying things out loud like get it out from it get it out from inside of you and in like onto the table that's what I feel like really needs to happen for some people here it's um it's like that the message that was coming out before is like have an important conversation but stay calm maintain your your heart <laughs> the harmony your inner harmony your, your balance in there I need to do some clarifications but before we do that I'm going to read from the moon deck. Surrender to the divine.
which one is that? Oh, the full moon. Um, the very word climax brings all sorts of ideas and images to mind. Agreed? <laughs> yeah. But it really is the feeling of this card. Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or a turning point. There may be some kind of change and possibly even some sort of emotional explosion. Tune into your emotions now and see what they're telling you. They're very likely close to the surface no matter when the moon cycle you've pulled this card. Matters will soon conclude and you'll find out whether or not your wishes are going to come true. The odds are in your favor as this is a positive card, but you may need to work harder than usual to keep cool as events unfold. This is for sure the energy, isn't it? This is. It's make or break time. There could be a sense of madness in the air. Breathe deep and stay calm. You may need to forgive someone and release negative energy. So now we see that this card is speaking now to the next one. It's time to let go of the past and move on. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Maybe the disappointment that's here is um, somebody struggling with the idea that Maybe something that you've wanted to complete for yourself this year is not exactly going to be clean cut and it will it will fall into the the next cycle, the next year. But this is what I was saying at the very beginning about you know the movement of the planets and, and Mercury and, and Venus in January. It's gonna feel like a false start. I don't know what false start is the right word, but it's gonna feel like a delayed start uh you know like when you when you when you mess up when, you, when you're playing like mario kart or something <laughs> this is for a few people will get this when you play mario kart and they're counting down the race to start and you hit the button the accelerator at the wrong time and you sort of like um um you know wiggle out like you don't start right away there's there's your wheels are in the mud. It's sticky. Okay, let's let's keep going. Um, full moon Scorpio is it's time to release negativity. It's time to move on from living fearfully to living joyfully. Grudges are toxic. Let something go. The end of an argument. If you've been feeling paranoid and acting weird, take this card as a very direct message from the cosmos to stop it. Worrying yourself is pointless. It's time to release any negativity you have about the situation you're asking about. If someone has been unkind to you, perhaps it's time for you to release them. This card heralds an emotionally intense time since both the full moon and Scorpio themselves are both extremely intense. And we have the full moon as well, the full moon and full moon Scorpio. It's time for you to feel all your feelings. There could be some nastiness in the air when you pull this card. If that's the case, take it as a sign to move away from anyone or anything you feel is toxic. The devil. This is what I was saying. The devil does not feel like the, the freeing, liberating, sensual energy that it can mean. This is about demons. This is about dealing with your demons. <clears throat> and I said sensual and listen to this for some however this card has a totally different meaning um, your sex life can improve now if you make an effort use your magic you have all you need inside you to bring out your desired result um, the full moon also said something about a wish you have is coming true you have all you need inside you to bring about your desired result. But you know why I don't see the magician on the table? I think the closest thing to transmuting here is temperance. But he, he's just pouring one cup, in, the water of one cup into another. The temperance card, I also take it as sort of like a little science experiment. It's about trying to find balance in patience and trusting, um, openness and... Um, an experimentation, I already said that, but it's about trying different things and seeing what works. You know what doesn't work? Negativity. 
anything that that is holding you back, you have to let that stuff go. Like he's not going to catch all the water every time he he pours one cup into the next. So the full moon in Scorpio is your shadow side. Your shadow side is showing. It's a time of magic. Hmm. Okay, y'all. I I knew it when I sat down this morning. There was there was something else here. Something else is here. Um. Here we go. Um. The final moon card is the Void of Course Moon. And it says nothing will come of this situation. The chances of something are diminishing. Something better may be around the corner. Believe that you will get what you need. Surrender to the divine. Oh my god, it literally points back to this card now. Surrender to the divine. Take time out, meditate, and contemplate. In the form of astrology known as horary, when an, astro an, when an astrological chart is cast according to when the question is asked and decoded, a void of course moon means nothing will come of this matter or this situation will bear no fruit. This may or may not be good news depending on what you are asking. For example, if you were worried about something, whatever it was, the card can be taken as a sign that there is nothing to worry about. However, if you're asking about a new project of any kind, including a new relationship, it's a sign to adjust your expectations or change things so you get a different outcome. Remember, the cards can only predict what you are currently creating, and if you can change that with and you can change that with both behavior and beliefs. Attuned to the moon, I trust in my highest good. I surrender to the divine. <clears throat> Let's do some clarifications because this is intense. Um, and if any of it resonates for anybody else out there, there's, there's maybe some more details we can uh, dig up. First of all, show me the Four of Wands, please. Four of Wands. Let's see. Full Moon. Uh, Seven of Wands. Ace of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Again, we have another Full Moon. Surrendering to the Divine. Releasing. So, I see a, a, a decision needing, needing to be made between releasing and defending your position here about something. Um, I think that you know the way. The Ace of Swords is here. It's the, it's the largest yes of the tarot. It's almost like saying, say yes. Say yes to me just means there's no, there's really no other way but forward. This decision is for yourself. This is about you either if you want to make things more difficult for yourself, then keep holding on to that negativity. Okay, this is for somebody. But this is an extremely powerful time to be shedding and when we shed, we grieve. We, we grieve the things that are no longer true about us that we've held on to for so long that filled some sort of void that made us comf that, that comforted us. Stories that were untrue, but which comforted us. Okay. The choice is yours. The choice is yours to... To if you identify, you know, whatever you identify as your four of wands here, this, you know, in some cases, the four of wands like insinuates marriage. So this could be a situation that, um, underneath the, something that something where you felt like your happiness was, your stability was, 
where your home is. How are you decorating your home? How do you... Don't hang your... Don't keep the skeletons in the closet, for example. Clean it out. Clean that out. The choice is yours, though. That's what it's saying. I mean, it's so powerful what's showing up here that it's so tempting just to leave that shit in the closet. Show me the ghost, please. The sun. Uh-huh. Can't seem to pull these cards up right. There we go. And there's the five of wands again. Hmm. ghost stories the sun is like the most positive card um, which means that there there is hope here for positivity conflict though some kind of and the six of pentacles this is about reciprocity um, I'd say give yourself the benefit to say, I deserve happiness. I deserve to be happy. But you know who makes you happy? Yourself. Like I said, it's your choice to, to let it go or not. Do you want to experience turbulence? I don't. I want, I want, I want this to be smooth transition as possible. The hermit. Empress, King of Swords, Quarter Moon, or not quarter, quarter Moon, Crescent Moon. Um, so this is for some people, but um, the the work of releasing negativity here, um, does look like, um. You know, that, that release looks like taking time out to build up your confidence. It's about really being kind of blunt with yourself, not sugarcoating things. And at the same time, nurturing, like there's a balance here between nurturing yourself towards the ends which you desire to grow. Empress is here, that's Venus. And the King of Swords, Venus is showing you where you need to build yourself up, where is your where your solid structure is. And that work is done under the surface. This is not work that we do <laughs> loudly or publicly. This is work that we do silently. Mm-hmm. Feeling like the underground over here. Um, show me temperance. Four of swords. <clears throat> Ace of wands. The old tree. I love the old tree. So regarding temperance, which is, you know, this, this idea of the experimentation, what works, what's not working... It is meant to challenge what you know. If all you know are ghost stories, you know, I think we all find ghost stories a little bit thrilling. We like to be scared. Um, at the same time, that's not what is required right now. So I keep seeing this as a choice. Like somebody's, somebody's making a very clear choice here to not release negativity somehow it's very difficult <coughs> i have here the four of swords as well which is um about rest and meditation so i think that um if you are if you are struggling with releasing this negativity but you want to move forward uh, the advice here is uh, meditating to find inspiration meditating to um Remember I was saying, this This is happening quietly. This work is done quietly. And, and this this crow here is 
silent. He's just laying there, very quiet, seemingly resting, but also meditating. A message that came out recently for me was that truth is found in quiet places, or like the loudest truth is found in the quietest of places. The old tree remind us to challenge what we know. Do you know what you know? Um, there might be, and the Ace of Swords was here, right, too, right? So it's almost like some truth will come out to help you make this decision. If the conflict is between releasing and upholding some sort of conviction here. Seek the truth. And nothing but the truth. Uh, five of Swords, please. Yep, Two of Swords. This is, a, Five of Swords is about not seeing something. Sasquatch and the new moon. So, regarding the five of swords, which is about, you know, winning, but at, but at what expense? It's like, remember what it feels like to lose. Or maybe someone is feeling the loss of something. I feel power struggles. I sense power struggles. Maybe it's you and the devil, you know, dancing with the devil, which is temptation. In either case, so it's clarified by Sasquatch, which is, uh, this is a bit wild energy, right? Dancing with the devil. We're sort of letting ourselves go a little bit, not wanting to make a choice, just staying in this, I'm going to say fantasy. The new moon is about setting intentions, but just the way that also this moon's eyes are closed and, and the blindfold here. This is confirmation for me that um, it, may be, it might be a very difficult time to look at the truth. We rather just party, party, feel all the wild things and feel them. This is a time for all of the feelings. They're very helpful. They will, they will, I keep saying this, but emotions and are data points. Um, the devil, please. The star. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Guys, the devil here is showing up because it's time to heal something that you've been holding on to for a long time. We have the Star, the Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. It's time to use your discernment. Time to get smart. Release, your ne release the negativity. You know, negative emotions and dwelling on negative things do manifest in our physical world. Just so you know. So if you're having a, a, a physically difficult time, that's why also the, the uh, Six of Pentacles is here. And that's why this choice is showing up as the Two of Pentacles. And why we don't have any major pentacle, like high-level high pentacle energy. But we have really high sword energy and low. There's a lot of swords on the table. Hmm. The devil is here. The temptation, the desire, the ghost stories are at the surface now because it's it wants to illuminate the healing that needs to occur. Okay. That's what's coming up. The Knight of Swords, please. Three of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. So for me, this is validation that, yes, something very quickly, um, again, this is holidays. I mean, today is a holiday. So we have the Three of Cups. Mm. 
maybe some people, if this is a difficult time for you, the holidays, then this is sort of showing me that there, this is a, uh, somebody wants to move on, but is confused how. It might have to do with the holiday or it might be a situation you're dealing with right now around the holidays, whether it's family or the community that you're with or, or something. But the energy here is like, yes, I know. And I want to, someone wants to race to the finish line because of this desire to move on. Or someone wants to brush away the negative feelings without actually addressing them. I don't know if that that's the choice or if that's or if that's simply because they're confused. There's no way there's no way to the end. It's a process. We're in the tunnel. Hang in there y'all cuz it's it's going to be a bumpy ride. Three of swords please. Oh, the goblin. All the shadow cards are coming out tonight. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh, shit. I'm on a coffee. <sighs> Three of swords is clarified by the goblin, the moon, and the world. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. The pain that is here now, the negativity... <sighs> it's not a trick. It's not... It's not some it's not that there's energy here wanting to hold you back. Everyone wants to move forward, I think. But the moon is again about our subconscious, it's about riding the wave of the unknown. And there can be a lot of sort of tricks, the goblin is tricks sort of along the way that may trick us into holding on to these negative emotions. Negative any any sort of negativity. It's the pain that's resurfacing, the ghost stories, the false comfort. The world is here, the most powerful conclusion card. That's what the full moon is all about. We got we had the full moon earlier too, right? I know we did. Yeah, it was here. This is a very, very powerful time for, for, for releasing, and I hope that you do you do that. I hope that you do that work for yourself. Cause that's what's showing up at the very top here. The sun just came out, just like it like peaked from beyond the clouds. But what's here are very stormy clouds. Very interesting. Um, let's keep going. Eight of Wands. Queen of Cups. Two of Wands. And the owls. I love that the owls clarified the eight, the eight of wands because the owls is messages. And the eight of wands is messages. Surrender to the divine. The divine, whatever it is, your intuition, your faith, however you make sense of the world, honestly, is trying to guide you. You have to release the negativity in order to um, get quiet enough, quiet your mind enough to actually hear what is trying to be said. Um, the Queen of Cups is here as a reminder to trust your intuition. Her crown of stars here connects her to the divine, to the collective, to spirit. And we have the moon phases here on her cup. This is about getting in your feelings and honoring your feelings. It also reminds me that I'm going to just repeat the message. I've already said it, but the work is done in quiet. Like there needs to be so, a period of silence. This is what I'm getting. A period of silence will clarify, will, will be very healing, first of all, but will also clarify the way forward for you. Okay, and the Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. Here's the message. 
if you're linger if you if after all of this work you still linger on any sort of disappointment or feelings that things could have gone differently know that you are on the right path towards your highest good and remember i keep saying this i said this a lot already this 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 reading but whatever situation you're dealing with it's not about it's not about that or them it's for you this is all happening for you So take what works, leave the rest, and don't have a second thought. Take frequent breaks from the sun. You might have glimpses of, of, of feeling very positive, feeling strong. When it feels like your heart is in the right place. And when things do creep back up, and they will, even if you think you've done the healing work, it never really does end. And so judgment is here as a reminder that we are always in a good place for assessing ourselves and, and our situations. It's about being very honest. It's about the search for our true selves. It's about taking only the truth with us. Do not carry any baggage into this new year, y'all. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, take frequent breaks. Build yourself up. Build up your own solid structure. Let's get some advice. Should I grab another deck? I think I will. Because um, some of the advice that came out here in these messages was about connecting to your to your emotions a little bit better. My Modern Witch Tarot deck, I interview all my decks, by the way, and so the Modern Witch Tarot deck, the voice of it is the best friend who's gonna want you to dish it out, as in, tell me who hurt you, you know, this is, um, it's a very powerful deck for me for um, connecting to emotions, the very watery um, element here, so... Let's see what it can tell us in just terms of some advice moving forward. How do we do this, y'all? <laughs> mm. Okay, one more. Whoop. It's a big deck. I wish they would make another one that's smaller. That feels good. I'm not seeing anything new really, but perhaps the message here, look, I'm seeing again, this is an opportunity to address whatever is coming to the surface. Fear is an opportunity. Fear is a gift. Um, the unknown is a gift. You know, on one hand, everything may feel, uh, fear makes, fear is a place of comfort, right? False evidence appearing real. This is a search for some kind of truth, moving man, maybe moving on from some old truth, some old some some baggage that was being carried. That that was making you feel. Um, distant. Like winning over others, this isn't about winning over others or like winning in a situation. This is about moving on from some sort of pattern. The Ten of Swords here confirms that this is, the, this is about the end of a destructive cycle. And the knives are our mind, um, our intellect, our ideas, and our nervous system. So remember, I was saying again earlier, negativity, negative feelings manifest physically for us as well. So I'm getting the message of... 
the nervous system in the in the body that is the response to fear i do see this there's validation here that someone has been putting in the effort the 7 of pentacles is someone's been trying to someone has been putting in the work to address this whatever this is for you it is a very difficult and painful process this did not give me any advice what am I supposed to say? <laughs> I feel so unresolved. And maybe that's the point. Is like sitting in this energy. The world, the world card is my reminder for there's nothing left to do. So what, should we just sit in this? I apologize, this is such a long video. Um, I do recommend you watch it at 1.5 speed. Sometimes I talk slow. But no, for, for, for future reference, you can do that. How complicated things are. Okay, let's see here. Yang. Round and round. Between worlds. It's time to choose differently. That's what it is. It's time to choose differently. Thank you for making that super clear. That's very helpful. This uh, round and round, the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles you are challenged to break, revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. Of course, I should have seen this earlier, but thank you for making it so clear. Okay, um, between worlds, number three. Transitions, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, no man's land. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place, between that what was and what will be, is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is a great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, but what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are between the worlds, you are invited to see with the cur curious eye of a child, glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so, and you will not be disappointed. When you cannot see what is ahead, we have to let go of assumptions. Okay, y'all. Um, and, and another one was the um, Yang card, which is the divine masculine. The masculine principle of movement and creative activity. The power to make things happen. Taking action. The energies that propel the world forward. The, and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Mm -hmm. This is the make it happen phase. Stake your claim and get things done. You can expect a busier than usual. You can expect to be busier than usual. This card tells you you have all the energy and vitality you need to accomplish your goals. Abundance is waiting for you to claim it. I think this is showing up sort of as the... Um, when it's saying now is the time, I'm taking that as like the Venus retrograde, which happens, I don't know, every five, six, seven years. I can't remember. This is a time to be... Stake, when it says stake your claim, stake your claim for the things that matter most to you. Now is the time to um, 
boldly claim your truth, allow that to come to the surface, regardless of fear or hesitation or negativity. Try to stay positive. Because that truth will show you a new way forward through this transition. And so on the other side, this is what it says, release expectation. What What's on the other side may not be what you expect, but we should always be grateful for the blessings that come into our lives in whatever form that they take. And that should be, um, that should be enough. That should be enough. Wow, the longest reading yet. So if you stuck in there, congratulations, and I am honored. And um, I hope that this helps. I hope that this helped you. So, yeah, have a good day, y'all. Yeah, I'll keep doing this through the new year, although I'll be traveling. I'll try, I'm, I'm going to experiment a lot with um, how to do this on the road. I'd like to be able to do it wherever I am. Because I just like to do it, um, even for myself on the daily, and I'll try to post videos. But yeah, regardless, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, wishing you guys all the best. And yeah, ciao.